Hi, it's Mr. Bond Garden back, and we are continuing learning to program Python using the Turtle library. So I've got my from Turtle import star at the top, which is the first line that I need for any Turtle program. And the last time we were looking at squares and moving around the screen. This time I will look at circles and colors. We can start getting some color happening in our program. So, but first, let's quickly draw a circle, and as you might guess, it is just the circle command. Nice and easy. Uh, and the only number I need to provide in the middle is what I want for the radius of my circle in terms of pixels. And there it is. So it starts at our starting point, 0, 0. And from there, it will start moving, drawing our line across and complete it with a circle with a, a radius of 50. Now, if I want this circle to be centered in the middle of my program, I just need to relocate down so let's um, uh, do, 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 let's go to my x coordinate can stay where it is uh, but my radius is 50 so I need to move down 50 first and now it will draw my circle uh, but it's still got that line there so I needed to do pen up and then pen down but now the circle is centered because we know the original starting point which is why I didn't get it to lift the pen up uh, is right here so that was the center and now the circle is centered and so I could draw increasingly large circles let's copy and paste this a couple of times and keep them all centered uh, so doo -doo -doo, let's make this 100 100, 150, 150, 200, and 200. And let's put in the pen up some pen downs, shall we? So up needs to go just before I move my, put in my go to jump. And then after I've jumped, I can put in my pen down. Save, run. And now I'll get some circles. Uh, so I've got my multiple circles. How about we t uh, put, throw some color on them now, shall we? So let's just put in some uh, space in here so I can keep track of what, where all my different circles are. Or should I, let's do it the proper way and put in some comments. That would be a good way to go. Programmers put in lots of comments into their code to help them keep track of what they are doing. So I expect you to do the same. Right, so let's put in a color. And so there's a few different colors we can change. When we put the pen down, we can also say, I want the pen color to be, let's go red. And then this time we might go pen color. Uh, helps if I can spell. Pen color blue. You can put in RGB codes. If you know what those are, uh, so for example, whoops, pen color, uh, hash, uh, and da, 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 FF00, FF, that should be a magenta style of color. Uh, so if you've got a color chart that you're looking to use, oh, pen color, hash, um, doo, 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 that should be a yellow color. Red, blue, magenta, and yellow. There we go. Well, that's all very well and good, but there's still a lot of white on my screen. Can I do something about that? Yes, you can. So first of all, how about we change the background color? And that's just BG color. And let's make that black, so our thing is gonna stand out a lot more. And we can use fill color for whatever shape we are about to draw. So fill color, red, Fill color blue. Fill color magenta, just to prove that this is magenta. <laughs> and fill color, oh, two L's, fill color yellow. Let's see if it's the same shade of yellow. And we didn't get any fills. Well, isn't that interesting? 
Is that... Ah, I know why we didn't get the fills. So we need to tell it the shape that we're wanting to fill. So I want to begin filling now and I want to end filling after I've drawn my circle. Uh, and if I test this, I should get my first circle should fill in. There we go. And so now I can do the same thing with my other circles and they will also fill in. All right, so, so this is uh, the fill, the start and end of the fill is useful for if you're making interesting weird shapes with lots of forwards, forward commands and moving around a lot, uh, then the begin and fill is used for Python to keep track of what the shape is that you're trying to fill in. Now what's going to happen here, the blue is going to overwrite the red and the magenta is going to overwrite the blue and the yellow is going to overwrite the magenta okay because it's the last thing I did and its size encompasses the other one so if I want all four circles to be visible after I've filled them in I should draw the smaller one last to fill the first one and so on all right, so the last thing the last command done is the thing that will appear on top if there is a clash. So if I cut and paste these into the order of biggest to smallest, we'll find that they will now work because we draw the yellow first and then we'll draw the magenta on top of the yellow and then the blue on top of that and then the red on top of that. Now I can't see the lines, all I can see are my fills. So I, I could change all my pen colors white uh, copy paste 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 and now I'll have white outlines on my circles so the fill color does not have to be the same as your pen color so there's some circles there's some color changes have fun with that. One last thing I might quickly show you is let's put a title on our program because we can see here at the moment it just calls itself Python Total Graphics. So how do I do that? Really hard. It's the word title. Okay, and inside the the double quotes, I just put my text, Mr. Baumgarten's artwork. And you can see up the top here now, it's got that title. All right, so that's circles, that's colors, that's titles. And that'll do for today's video. Keep experimenting, keep coding. Talk to you next time. Bye.